for the increment uh, of salaries because, of course, of the current state of play in our economy, mm -hmm. uh, Bilo Kero, and uh, the, the, the wedge bill, 1.1 trillion shillings, this is what this increment is actually going to cost the exchequer. Uh, we have the administration that is wanting to really pare down on the wage of billing, I mean, of uh, the, 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 the wedge bill, but still now we have an increment. What sort of a disc discretionary instrument should we use when we are faced with such a circumstance that we're in as a country where there is no money? You even don't have money to pay your 85,000 uh, 85, pensioners who will be actually exiting, mm -hmm. yeah? And <coughs> you want to revise that particular age now to 55 from 60. Um, <clears throat> I, I think if you look at the announcement by SRC, let me start from there. They did not put this as a cost of living adjustment. They said it's to harmonize the terms and service of public servants across the entire public service. That uh, we have a situation where uh, certain cadres in certain public service uh, institutions earn more than similar people in similar grade and similar qualifications. So it was an attempt to try and harmonize. Uh, and this is why they said we, have, we are not paying much to the public uh, servants who are working in the state corporations because they are more uh, highly paid. Teachers were the lowest when they tried to do this harmonization. That's why they are putting teachers and then to try and bring people together. If, if you have two people who have the same qualification, same experience, and then public service, one earns a million shillings, one office, another earns 100,000. Um, they are looking at a situation where, for example, in certain state corporations, a very junior officer is earning more than what a uh, a CS ants in, yeah. in, 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 in a certain ministry. Um, I, I remember we did this exercise in 1999. I was in a presidential task, uh, uh, commission, presidential commission, I think headed by Benjamin Kuklai. We did the same exercise trying to harmonize the terms and service of public servants across the entire. Uh, and this is the same thing that they have done, which I think is a good thing because you, you have this disparity. Why disparities in the, in the, the pays in the, in the public service? And this is what, what I think they were trying to address. But there is no doubt that um, <clears throat> last year when uh, uh, Indiretu was <laughs> team was in government, uh, the wage bill was 50, around 52 percent of the total revenues that they collected of two trillion. Uh, now at 1.1 trillion, it will still be around 52 percent of whatever this government collected um, as of July this year. Of course, to any government, that, that, that would be alarming. I mean, if you spend more than 50% of your total revenues just paying salaries, salaries yeah. what are you going to do with all the other uh, uh, expenditures, expenditures, you know, the, the other current expenditures, development, loans? I mean, it's clear that we are living beyond <laughs> our means. It's clear we have a government that is insolvent. I mean, that's the bottom line. Kenya government does not want to admit. Yesterday, they announced they're trying to get uh, arranging for a new euro bond. Two billion dollars yes. to pay off the old ones. Yeah. Yeah. Borrowing. The, the, then the rating <laughs> agencies say that, that is uh, almost a default. Uh, you know. <laughs> so I, I think when you get into that situation, it's not a very, very good situation to be in. And this is why some of us consistently for the last five years or ten years we've been repeating one message: please work on expenditure. Our problem is not revenue. Unless the government starts reducing. And just I was shocked last week. Some, I think it's the same PS. Or who said, look, we, we, we have no more room for reduction of our expenditures, government, period. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it, uh, he said it uh, yes. last, the, the last week. We are not going to reduce our expenditures. And, 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 and so it's very unfortunate that the economy is in a very bad situation. Mm -hmm. Kenyans have been taxed out of jobs because of manufacturing alone announced they're going to lay off 16,000 workers because of the housing levy alone, because of the additional burden of, of tax. So with the economic crisis we are in, people have no jobs, inflation is high, interest rates are going to be on 20%. The shilling has collapsed to 150 nearly. Every indicator shows the economy is not Collapsing. only headed south, but it's tanking. And then you get into the, <laughs> the morning you wake up, and the boss says the economy is now stable. You know, the, the economy, <laughs> stability of economy does not mean when you, uh, you, you know, it's not about these things. The economy is stable when you have addressed all those fundamentals of the, the, the macroeconomics, you know, that we're talking about. 
So we, 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 we are in a very uh, unfortunate situation where the government believes the economy is about getting revenue and it's at least helping them to pay their expenditure and the rest they are borrowing and they are comfortable. In fact, if you read this story, it says yeah. we had a deficit of 300 billion shillings. So to revise, to revise, yeah. yeah. so well. <laughs> <Come in stable. laughs> the same announcement was made by the president on 15th of March. Yes. And on 30th, they could not pay salaries. Yeah. You remember us yes. this year? Yes. Yes. 15 days later, after that statement that the economy was stable, we could not pay salaries. So I, I think I think we uh, the civil servants uh, of course um, deserve a, a review. Uh, and again, for the governments, by the way, including this one, it's a very good thing when the civil servants get this because it uh, makes everyone now happy with the government. Morale improves. Um, every mm. public servant now will say, "Ah, these guys are good," and this is the feel-good attitude. Is one of the things the governments want. The but let, let, let me uh, chime in on that because uh, let let me become a cynical self. The optics that you present to the nation yeah. is around government spending, yeah. getting jobs in government, mm. and the government looking good. Yeah. So that instead of the government cutting its jobs, 